everyone, welcome. It is a big privilege for me to actually be here because back in school, I was told chemistry, biology, and physics are a science. I believed them. Today, I have been enlightened because I have been told that even safety is a science. The science of safety is so supreme to our own safety that we at this point in time have to understand to make it a part of our everyday lives, which is why this. What is this? Well, the National Safety Science Quiz, the NSSQ 2017, that is what we are here for, trying to understand how safety is so important as a science. And what better way to do it than to have a quiz involving children, of course. So, this is the semi-final round, the first semi-final. The question is, how did we get so far? Well, take a look. It all started months ago when the call for entries for India's largest safety science quiz went on air and online. More than 80,000 students from over 750 schools from all over the country registered for the quiz. After two online rounds, shortlisted students appeared for the zonals in 10 cities. After rounds of exciting gameplay, heartbreak and joy, teams were selected from all over the country to go to Delhi for the televised quiz, where they will be up against the best young minds of the country. Alright, so 20 teams vying for that golden prize. What that prize is, we'll tell you a little later, but at the start, the first semi-final, five teams, and let's just start by introducing those five teams for you. Right here with us to start with, DPS Junkipuram Lucknow. Thank you for being with us. And also, Lotus Valley International School. And we have the Guru Nanak Public School. From Vizag, which is such a beautiful place, Timpani Senior Secondary School. Congratulations and Birla School Kalyan from Mumbai. <laughs> All right, so it gets very interesting now because this is when I get to be the boss. But there are some other rules. Let's just start by telling you a little bit about them. Five teams start with 200 safety points each. There are 10 questions in all. All questions will be on the buzzer. Three levels of gameplay, negative marking will be there for all questions. Are you guys ready also? Because it's interesting, if they don't get their answers right, we'll come to you and there's a hidden prize for you too. Okay? Are we ready? All right, so then why don't you give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for the quiz to start. In level one, a question will be asked. The team pressing the buzzer first will get to answer. You will have 10 seconds to answer. Plus 10 for a correct answer and minus 10 for an incorrect answer. Shall we start? All right, in three, two, one, let's bring it on. Question number one. A rule of thumb for following a vehicle at a safe distance is to stay at least fill in the blanks seconds behind the vehicle in front of you. This is the minimum reaction time you need to stop safely. Fill in the blank. All right, we have Guru Nanak Public School that has pressed the buzzer. The answer, go ahead. 30 seconds. Unfortunately, that is the incorrect answer. Therefore, we'll have to give you minus points for that. Minus 10 goes into your account. Anyone else knows the correct answer? You're not going to get points for it, so you can just go with it. No negative points either. Yeah, Five go ahead. Seconds. 15 seconds. 15. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay, nobody's getting it. I am going to get it. It's a very simple answer. It's two seconds. Two seconds is a safety buzzer to allow the following driver to respond and reduce the risk of collision. It's really a reflex action, right? So you can press the brakes and also steer away from whoever's in front of you. All right, the second question is an anagram question. It's a question which will be asked only after an anagram is shown, you should answer it. If you press the buzzer before the anagram appears, you will have to answer without seeing the anagram, okay? You'll have 10 seconds to answer after you press the buzzer. Mixing bleach and rubbing alcohol, often found in household cleaning agents, produces chloroform, 
Chloroform over time becomes a highly toxic gas which can damage the skin, the eyes, the nose, throat and lungs. Identify the gas. All right, we have timpani that is... NH3, ammonia. It's ammonia. That's an incorrect answer. You didn't even wait for the anagram to come up. That is the anagram. You're going to get minus 10. 14. That's the right answer. Same rules apply for the third question. It's a picture anagram, a 10-pointer once again. 10 for a correct, minus 10 for an incorrect. This is a safety symbol. It denotes a workplace hazard. All you have to do is identify the hazard. We present the anagram for you now. All right, we have the buzzer that's been pressed by Guru Nanak Public School. All right, go with it. The answer is confined space. Absolutely right. Well done. The first correct answer we've got. Well done. Plus 10 points for you. Just a trivia hazard. I work in a confined space. <laughs> All right, and confined space hazards include toxic atmosphere, oxygen deficiency, excessive heat, or even a flammable atmosphere. So that's very important for you guys to understand. Well done. All right, that was level one. So let's just bring to you where all these five teams really stand. What's the scorecard looking like? How have they been doing? It's quite simple right now. Most teams are still on 200, as you can see, Lotus and DPS both on 200. One team, unfortunately, is not going to be on 200. That is right, Timpani Senior Secondary School, Vishakapatnam. But the rest of them are still all on 200. Guranak managed to get back those 10 points that they lost earlier. But now, Let's go with something that's going to make this game slightly more interesting because it's not any longer about 10 points, but 20. This is a two-part question. This is level two. Picture will be shown for 10 to 20 seconds and then we wait for a team to press the buzzer. That team will have to answer two questions based on the picture. There will be 20 points, which will be awarded to the correct answer. 10 points will be given for each part. 20 points will be deducted for an incorrect answer and 10 points will be deducted for a no answer or a wrong answer for a part. All right, let's bring up the question for you then. This is a 20 pointer and is a yellow box junction which was first used in London in 1964. A yellow box junction first used in London in 1964 all right, Gunana goes for it. Let's just show you the two questions. Which Indian city was this yellow junction box used in? And what do they indicate? The first question first. Go ahead. Uh, it was used in Bengaluru first. Okay. Okay, they indicate that uh, no uh, vehicles should uh, halt over the uh, space. Yeah. Absolutely right. Both questions, correct answers. 20 points go to Gurnanak Public School. That's quite a big one. All right, let's move on to question number five. It's a similar question. There's going to be a picture on your screen. It's a very simple picture. It's a small hard cap worn on the fingers, primarily used by dressmakers. Small hard cap worn on the fingers. All right, Lotus Valley International School. Let's bring up the two questions. What is it called? And apart from protecting the fingers, what is it used for? It is called a thumbtack. Okay, carry on. I'll give you 10 seconds. Uh, it covers the sharp edges of objects which may be hazardous to the user. Who is the user? Um, it is, uh, while playing, it is used while playing guitar to protect the um, guitarist from the Okay. Sharp. Unfortunately, those are both incorrect answers. All right. It is called a thimble. All right, and it is used by dressmakers, tailors. Tailors use it to push the needle while sewing. So I was about to give it to you till you said guitar. Question number six. Let's go with it. It's another picture question again. Twenty points you can gain or lose. It is simpler. You might think you can get it. Now everyone knows this is a smoke alarm. Now we have Birla School Kalyan from Mumbai that has pressed the brother. They have gone with it. They think they know everything about a smoke alarm. So let's bring up the first one. Ionization smoke alarms contain a small amount of radioactive element called americium. Is it true or false? True. Correct. Second, smoke alarms should be tested every three months. False. Okay, but if that's false, what's the correct answer? Every month. All right, well done. Correct. That's the one. 20 points for... Billa School, Kalyan, Mumbai. Well done.
All right, let's take a look at the scores because I want to see where everyone's standing. I've kind of lost track. How's it looking? Ooh. Lotus at 180, DPS 200, Birla at 220, and we have Timpani at 190. Good Nanak, they should be at 220. So we have two schools tied at 220. So that gets very interesting. Lotus and Timpani need to do the covering act, while Junkie Puram just needs to get into the act. <laughs> We're gonna take a short break, be back with that. This is the National Safety Science Quick semi-final one. Don't go anywhere.